Hello everyone and welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name's Michael and I'm bitten by a radioactive book. Today it's Tic Tac Tuesday and I'm doing the Epic Reads tag. This was created by Aubrey and Margot from Epic Reads and I was tagged by Monica from Soft Blueberry. So thank you very much for tagging me. And if you don't know Monica, uh, she's a great booktuber, so go and check her out. I will leave her information and the links to the original videos in the description box down below. So, we have 10 questions to go through, so let's get started, because you all know how rambly I can get. Number one is, if you could invite one author and one of his fictional characters to tea, who would you invite and what would you serve them? For this one, I go with George R. R. Martin, because George R. R. Martin is um, a great author, and I would like to, um, yeah become like him uh, when I get older because he's still very aware of like uh, political issues, real life issues and on the other hand he is completely um, yeah, integrated uh, still in the whole like fantasy science fiction community and that kind of, um, of split is very attractive to me and I hope yeah I can do that when I get older as well. Um, and of course I'm going with the obvious choice here for his characters. I would invite Turian because he of course makes for a very witty conversation over tea and um, of course uh, I would serve lemon cakes as they are the appropriate tea time food in A Song of Ice and Fire and as Sansa is not invited um, we all have a chance to get some lemon cakes here. Question 2 is what book do you wish the author would write a prequel for? Um, I would love to see a prequel for R.S. Belcher's series, the Golgotha books, um, Weird West series, because um, the characters always hint at um, like cases or events that happened before we actually get onto the scene. Uh, in the past and this seem to be very interesting stories in itself so a prequel for this one um, yeah I would be up for. Question 3 which two characters not from the same book do you think would make a good couple? Yeah wow it's another relationship question I'm almost as good in relationship questions as with um, flowers if you've seen last week's tag video um, but I'm going for Fitz from Robin Hobb's Farseer trilogy and Uppsala from Stephen Erickson's Malazan Book of the Fallen. Both are assassins, Uppsala in a more kick-ass kind of way, uh, Fitz more, yeah, in a... Uh, I, I don't know, I don't feel him really like being an assassin, but I think uh, these, these two have a little bit in common, both are uh, are lonely and could need the company from someone who could understand them. Um, I think uh, Absala is familiar with the Hounds of Shadow, so, so she would have no problem with uh, with Night Eyes, um, for example, from, from Fitz. I think they would make a, a great couple. Question 4 is, if you ran into your favorite author on the subway and only could say one sentence to him, who is it and what would it be? Of course, my favorite author, as you might know, is Stephen Erickson, and normally in a subway you're like this. And I would say to him, hey, Stephen Erickson, that subway wouldn't have happened in the Malazan Book of the Fallen, yeah? You know, because so many people die there, we would have been way more comfortable space in the subway. Yeah, it sounded funnier in my head then. But, but, but go on, move on, move on. Question 5. What book made you a reader and why? Um, I think I've said that before. Um, for me, the uh, 
the big book bringing me into reading and especially bringing me into reading fantasy was the Dragonlance, uh, the first trilogy, um, the Chronicles by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. It was the first time I was exposed to a whole established fantasy world and that really took me in that kind of, um, yeah, uh, characters, uh, um, the different fantasy races, the magic, um, yeah, and so that really drew me in and made me a fantasy reader. Question 6. Incendio, your bookshelf's on fire. <gasps> Show us the one book you save. And if you've seen actually last week's Top 5 Wednesday, which uh, was like the same question, it was only, only the top 5 books. Uh, so let me just quick turn around, grab, nope, there it is, there we go. Grab my Kindle. It's the Kindle, of course. So. Question answered. Question 7. Which dystopian world would you want to live in if you had to choose one? Why? Uh, dear creator of the tag, it's a dystopian world. Dystopian. Nobody wants to live in a dystopian world. No. No. N none of them. None of them. This, this world, or better version of this world, that would be great. But a dystopian world? No, 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 no. Question 8. What is your most epic read of all time? That's very easy and you all know the answer already. It's the whole Stephen Erickson's uh, Marathon book of The Fallen. Because nothing compares in epicness, nothing compares in complexity. Uh, it's like a Song of Ice and Fire times 10. Um, yeah, it's just epic in every sense of the way. Question 9 is also tag some friends to answer these questions. Um, and of course I'm going to tag uh, everybody who has read and enjoyed an epic fantasy once in his or her life. So uh, yeah, feel free to do the tag. And question 10. Lastly, do a book shimmy. W what's that? That When I looked up the question, there was a, a picture from Emma Watson doing something like this. Is that a book shimmy? If it is, I answered the question. If not, I did something stupid in front of the camera. That seems to become some kind of thing. For me, so uh, move move on to the to the to the end of the video. And of course, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of me, subscribe to my channel. If you want to know what's coming up on my channel, please look inside the description box. There's a little segment there called On the Horizon. I wish you a good day and hope you get bitten by a really good book too. Bye.